Just waiting for the next train. Let's hear you. So we could uh, rent it for a function, could we? 2004 that started. And the big trucks came for everything. Oh, I looked at and I said, You're from Emma, aren't you? She goes, How do you know that? I said, Maybe you more. <laughs> <laughs> Just across the border, and the disputed border in the South Australia is Wolseley, and this is a, a World War II fuel dump. 
there's a few large concrete and brick buildings. The sky is to look like farm buildings. crop. It's not actually 105, it's the clock on the camcorder is out by half an hour, it's actually 12.30 and we're just rolling into Murray Bridge came through here from last year or the year before went to Woolies I'm just going to meet Anthony up over there in the town have some lunch and here's the old railway bridge National capital that we can see the section of the river. This is actually banked up from Lake Alexandrina. The guy there said because um, it's not flowing out to the sea. It hasn't flown out to the ocean for a while, and the water level is actually a, a meter and a half below its normal amount. So. They had to lengthen the, uh, the little ferry ramps for the ferries that we drove across because they were getting stuck in the mud. So there's the mighty, the end of the mighty Murray. You can see there the, the water is a bit low. And that's the spot where they had a paddle. And they had a a rowing skull in the roof of the um, information centre. There are the, there are the locals sculling up the Murray. But she said it was so funny it was a bit frustrating. We're stopping for a, uh, a hotel photo. The uh, World War One country and soldier settlement. down Manham. Bicentennial event. Just climbing a steep hill and following 
extensive stone walls all the way up the, the road here They're just cresting a hill and they stop for a while but Anthony said they go for a miles in this section of the country. over, well this is a new bridge over Somme Creek and this is the actual bridge over Somme Creek and a few wartime places around here photo for the, the flicker site. Now we're driven down from Peanuton, lovely horse studs all along there, horse racing tracks, all private racing tracks along the roads, up and down the hills with their sandy tracks and now we're into the Barossa. I love the evening light. Now we had a night in Riverton. Neat little houses. Had dinner at the nice hotel, the, the northernmost one, and then saw Rob and Barbara for a few hours till midnight in fact. And here's Mary's dad's house where he was born, or when he was newly born, an old scout hall, with a couple of pine trees. coming back from the Pioneer Park. It's a very nice little streetscape here when the sun's shining. This is the backyard of Mr Mitten's house. It's been a scout hall for I don't know how long. There's down the side. Um, Nobody lives there now, but it's still a scout hall. Oh, we found our way back into Mintaro again. Now he's gone into the Antiques shop. I'm just waiting for the sun to come out again. And there's the antique shop that Anthony just parked in front of from the the sun just came out for a moment. That's the Slate Quarries Road. Why, why does a chest of drawers have uh, oh, it's very delicate. 